Was this Santa? Do I get a special present from Santa Claus? And for my special grandson. I want you to have the sealed envelope. <laughs> I can't just tell you what it is. Take it. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Why does he, why does he have a sword? What's that with that fucking sword up there? Listen closely. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. I take a long time to say sentences, and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Jeez, Grandpa, you're getting real heavy here. You're getting a little too deep, Grandpa. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. And please, take my Arabian saber off the wall. And go kill your grandmother. Is that 20 years later? Oh boy. Joja, join us, thrive. Work or rest? Do I need to do something here? No. Oh. Terminated. It's Woody! That's Woody from Toy Story! What is he doing here? Oh, well, this is the best job ever! I get to work with Woody from Toy Story? And Skeletor? Come on! <laughs> I, I guess I'm not happy. Should I open up the- I'm gonna open the envelope, aren't I? Can I go back to work? Dear Greg, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. The North Pole. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Greg's Farm is located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. Ah, I... <laughs> the French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. And, Radio Vidya, and yes, the French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that some little shit moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, it's very rustic. And by rustic, that's in quotes, because it means it's shit. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box. I'll come by during the night and collect it. And I also might take stuff from your house at night. Because I'm a fucking cat burglar. All right, I'm done. Uh, no, no more voices, we're just gonna play. Oh, it's a WASD game, skill shots. I told you, I knew it. Oh fuck, what did I pick up? Decorative bowl? Decorative, decorative bowl. <laughs> decorative, decorative bowl, right? Decorative bowl. <laughs> am I on drugs? Why am I not saying De decorative bowl? Done. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. I gotta go meet people. All right, what do you want? You want, you want some wood? I guess everyone has different tastes. Oh, you're welcome. What about you? You want one of these? Oh, I guess I'll take it. Yeah, you will. What about you? Glasses guy. No, glasses guy definitely wants a rock. Hmm, are you sure this is healthy? Yeah, I'm sure. Vincent's birthday at the egg festival? This is fucking cool! Look at this, there's an egg festival! Oh, look, it's little Vincent! Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Well, look, little Vincent, Mama also told you not to talk to people that give you things, either. So here! Take the Mario 2 plant. Should I plant my daffodil? Eat the daffodil. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. I can't wait to have a gigantic farm. And I'm gonna neglect the shit out of it. It's gonna be a big one. I can tell. <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure to meet you too, Fabio. Bye. Wait a minute. 
Do you like fish? Yes, he likes it. He liked it. See, he's almost in love with me. He's so close to being in love with me after giving him that fish. There's a can of soda in there. I don't want to drink this. It says trash. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh god, what an awful day. What a terrible day that was. I didn't do shit, I watered a few plants. I drank a bunch of 45 year old soda cans. I have indigestion. Here. I got you something. It's an old newspaper. <laughs> You're not good enough friends with Sebastian to enter his bedroom? Look at how creepy this looks. I'm sitting outside of this kid's bedroom. Staring. Come on, let me in your bedroom. I'm the new farmer. You're number 14 on my list. Oh, for the love of God. Nice. Oh, that was so much fun. That was so much fun doing that. I told you I was gonna find you. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Yeah. All right, it was nice seeing you. What's going on with this tree? Did I screw something up here? This really is not... Oh, fuck. It seems to like this place. Hey, um, do you think that this farm could use it a good dog? Of course! Uh, uh no, it's gonna be good. There you go, Doug Bendio. Dog Bendio. Except it's a U. Could have named it Otto. That name sucks. Hey boy, you wanna watch some TV? You wanna watch some TV? Okay. I gave him a piece of copper. It's my yeah, it was that was your birthday present. Well, enjoy that precious stone. <laughs> trying to dump water on his head. <laughs> Happy birthday, kid. Here's a swirly beer. Four hundred gold. Four hundred gold for a glass of beer. Beer is more... One beer is more expensive. Almost two times more expensive than a plate of spaghetti with sauce. You are running a real shit show here, dude. Imagine if you walked into a bar and this is the song that was playing over the loudspeaker. Somebody, there would be a fight. Somebody would get in a fight. Some guy across the bar would be like, Where the fuck is Led Zeppelin? What is this shit? And then somebody else would be like, It's artsy. Come on, calm down, buddy. And then all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, he's gonna, he's gonna snap. There's a 16-inch chub. Now that's impressive. That's impressive. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Zero out of ten, and I just brought you a big succulent fish, Pam. What the heck? Fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, deviled eggs, scrambled eggs, chocolate eggs, you name it. Oh, I'm in heaven right now. And everybody's here. Look at all these friends. All these friends are here. Oh, wow. Who's this guy? How can you not be happy about eggs? I love this game. They're talking about eggs. And how good for you they are. 
They're right. Egg hunt, let's go. Where are they? Get the fuck out of my way, I'm winning this. Got one. Get out of here, you little punk. There's another one. How do I get back there? Can I cut the tree down? Give me that egg! I need to win this. I have to prove that I'm the best town person. Look at this idiot. Doesn't even know where he's going. I've already got four. What's the prize? You're gonna put an egg that close to the sewer? That's gross. One sec. Give me it! Fuck. And now the winner of this year's egg hunt. Greg. No! How many did she get? What? Here's your prize, Abigail. What? I want a prize. <laughs> That's it? That's it. What about, can I talk to the pig? I didn't say before. <laughs> the Mario, yeah, that was going like <laughs> mysterious spirits. These ones, for some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Well, that's because you're like torturing one. No reason to fear them. Well, I've been killing them. Oh. Am I actually gonna drink this shit? Can I refuse it? What a fucking idiot, why would you do that? Why would you do something like that? You just met this guy five minutes ago. He killed me. He's gonna put me in his dungeon now. Okay. See the trees? You gain the power of forest magic? This game keeps getting weirder and weirder. Forest magic, aka going into the woods and eating drugs. Jesus Christ, that looks like shit! <laughs> Grow your chub to 19 inches with this one weird trick. Yeah, what the hell is this? This just crushed a bunch of shit! You know what I mean, honey? You picked berries for me and gave them to me out of the kindness of your heart? I wanted an emerald! I just realized what my character looks like. You wanna know identical who this character is? It's Butthead from Beavis and Butthead. It's not the length of your fishing pole, it's how you use it. Me sell hats, okay? Poke. Come to old, old house, poke. Bring coins. Hat mouse. What? Once this is open, and once I can go in, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna buy Pam a drink. She's always in the bar. She's always hanging out here. I'm gonna buy her a drink. It's 400 gold. And I'm going to give it to Pam. Happy fucking birthday. There she is. Hey, I know you're working right now. I had one too many caramel porters at the saloon last night. Go away! Uh, can I interest you in another drink? <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't give this to- Why did she tell me to go away? I've been nothing but nice to this person. I've been nothing but nice. And I brought her a drink at work. And she tells me to go away. <sighs> what happens if I give this to her? Maybe I shouldn't do it right now. I'm gonna wait until she gets off work and she's in a better mood. 
she leaving? Where's she gone? Follow her. Follow her. You're gonna accept this beer. At some point. Here she going. Good afternoon, Abigail. Why are you so nice to her? She told me to fuck off and she's telling her have a nice day. Okay, here's my chance. Here's my chance. Okay, here we go. Give me the usual. Yeah, I got ya. I got ya. Don't worry. Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. Yeah, you're very welcome. Oh, she's... I almost... She's... I've been looking forward to this beverage all afternoon. <laughs> Three out of ten. Three out of ten. Now, I'm gonna buy her a salad, too. Here, here you go. Hey, look, I bought you a drink, and here's a nice dinner. I've already given Pam a gift today. Oh, shit. Oh, it's her birthday. I should be able to... Well, here, I just bought a salad for you. Yeah, you're welcome. You fucking don't like me! <sighs> Alright, boys, Pam it is. She's the only friend I'm gonna have. Whoa! A diamond. I got a diamond. I kind of want to look it up and see how much it's worth, because if it's worth like 5,000 gold, I'm not giving it to somebody. It's mine. As Gollum would say. <laughs> we want shit. We need shit. Filthy hobbitses. Don't touch my fucking diamond. What do you want? Leave me alone. What the fuck? Here, take a piece of driftwood. F feel better. I don't like this. Well then, here. Take some fucking algae. Fuck off. Whose house is this? You're not good enough friends with Penny to enter her bedroom, so why are you here? What? <laughs> Where do you actually live and why are you just sitting on somebody's couch watching TV? No, enough of this. I don't know you. Well... Here's a stuff for your science class. That's a gift I gave you. It's maple seed. See, watch. You go like this. She just left. <laughs> Little Victor, do you like diamonds? What about knives? <laughs> Donate to museum. Where's my money? Where's my bonus gold? Where's my bonus gold, everybody? Where's my bonus that I was promised? I didn't get shit. I didn't get anything for that. Oh, you fucking snake. <sighs> why did I do it again? Why did I do that again? There was no reason to do that. I didn't know. Why did I do that again? Doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? Look at this condescending asshole. I just gave him a diamond. Oh, you need a better pickaxe to get rid of this rock. Oh, do I? Well, let me introduce you to a good friend of mine. The cherry bomb. things are never gonna fucking grow anyways, and you know it. I'm just gonna fucking start smashing shit in my house where the TV goes. <laughs> yeah, fuck this. This TV's going to the front lawn. Where it belongs. Oh, can I give- I'm just gonna give this fucking TV to someone. I'm just gonna put this TV in somebody's house. Do I have to donate it? For him to be interested? Well, fine. Here. Tell me about it. Dwarvish helmets, one of the helmets commonly worn by dwarves. Okay, the thick metal plating protects them from falling debris and... I could have told you that without needing to donate this. 
Hey, you want to bring that dwarvish helm to the curator? He might, he might have more information. Uh, the dwarvish helm was worn by dwarves, and it was put on their head to protect from stuff that it was going to hit them in the head. <laughs> I'm on a fucking rampage! <laughs>